Hello, my name is Krista Mayon, independent designer with Chalk Couture from Batavia, Ohio. Today we're going to be uh, chalking pumpkin anything. This actually a size transfer is part of the Try Me kit and it does come with the 5x7 box frame. And the box frames are pretty cool because they are double sided. So um, you have two sides to it. So that's pretty neat. And you can chalk on both sides. So the Try Me kit comes with um, one transfer. You can go ahead and add another one if you'd like. It does come with a mini squeegee as well. So the mini squeegee right here and then two paste packets. So I highly recommend on the um, board, um, the box frame here to uh, wax. If you have wax, if not, just let the transfer really, really well. Um, the wax is very inexpensive. It's our wax. Um, I always put it on just to be safe. Um, on new transfers, it can um, cause some issues if you pull up the whitewash. So just FYI on that. Just make sure you fuzz it really well if you don't wax. Okay, so it just doesn't take that much, just a tad bit. And then we're gonna just buff it in. Okay. Our transfer's marked on the uh, back of the packaging because our transfers are reusable eight to 12 times, okay? So we also mark the front and the back. So when it's dry, you know exactly what transfer backing it goes on and then how to place it on the transfer backing. It's pretty neat that it's uh, it's reusable. Okay, so we just peel it off. And the fuzzing um, cloth here is to pick up a little bit of lint so it doesn't stick so well that it won't come off. Okay, I have used this one before. I had a transfer sitting here from another project. <laughs> Love it. I'm actually going to turn it, I think. And then I'm going to line it up on my self-healing mat. I always start at the top and work my way down. We are going to add something to this, guys. So I'm hoping it will fit. We're going to make a pumpkin out of a little sponge. So let's see if it's going to fit here. I already cut the sponge in half. It's one of them like SOS pads. And I'm gonna make it hopefully right here. So I have a little stem here. So I think the stem is gonna be a little bit too long, so I have to cut it down. So I'm gonna raise this up a tad bit. I'm gonna try to get as closest to the top as possible. We're not gonna chalk our pumpkin, okay? We're just gonna leave him off. We're gonna paint our little stem with a bark paste. So we'll do that here in a second. Just make sure that you have no bubbles under the transfer. I'm gonna use Shimmer Crimson. I just used it. Um, Shimmer Olive. Shimmer Pumpkin. I had Harvest out, but I don't think I'm going to use it. So I'm going to do I Love You and then Pumpkin Anything and the Pumpkin Shimmer. And then we'll do all the leaves and um, the olive. Just use this so I don't really need to stir it. I do like to turn my projects... Um, Whatever works for you. I love these little leaves. They're cute. I'm going to do the word then and this as well. I'm going to see um, about chalking these after we get our pumpkin on. I'm going to do the top. I don't know if the little ones will go. So I'm just going to do the top ones for now. Okay. And that's Shimmer Olive. And this is going to be Shimmer Crimson. The cool part about it is it does come with um, two colors of squeegee or um, paste with the Try Me kit. Um, if you don't want to use them, if you do want to use them, great. Um, there definitely will be enough in the paste packet to do more projects than that one. 
So uh, FYI, make sure you have something else that you'd like to chalk. Um, when you get ready to um, do your try me kit. I put the link for the try me kit in the comments. Okay, I'm gonna do then and the green. It does come with a squeegee as well if you need a squeegee. Okay, I'm a little close to my shimmer crimson, but that's okay. All right, and then we're gonna do shimmer pumpkin. This would be great for Halloween, uh, this color, or Thanksgiving. I hope these colors pop on the white. The other side of the box frame is uh, stained, so it's really cool that you have two different looks. You could do Christmas on the back, so you can flip it. It's pretty versatile. All right, we're going to pull this off. I use my little detail tool if you need to get in there to pull it. And voila. Oh my gosh, guys. It's so cute. I love it. All right, so I put this in my water bath next to me. I just use an aluminum pan. Um, I just want you to cook uh, your turkey in. Um, I put it, it in warm water. I use a pedicure brush only on the non-sticky side. It really helps get the shimmers out of the silk screen area. And then you want to make sure you dry sticky side up, okay? So whatever you're drying on, which I use paper towels, um, I always dry sticky side up so it doesn't stick to whatever I'm drying to. So that's another reason why I mark it with a Sharpie so we can, um, know what the um, front is in the back. So the sticky side does not have the Sharpie mark on it. Okay, so you wanna make sure you dry uh, Sharpie down. Okay, so you wanna make sure you dry it this way, not this way. Okay, so this should be face down. Okay, so that should go face down. We're gonna use a quick dry tool to um, make sure it's dry before we put our pumpkin on. I want to make sure I don't put my finger in it. Sure, do take a little bit longer to dry, so FYI. I cut one of the uh, little pads in half. That's how I got this. second I'm gonna go ahead and take my little stick here um, we're gonna cut this down a little bit so I'm just gonna use some really sharp scissors I could probably break it too oh that one did break that's okay we can just use that that'll be fine all right so that's gonna be our little stem on our pumpkin I'm gonna take our bark paste I'm just gonna get um, a little bit on my finger and then we're gonna like dip it in my water a little bit and we're just gonna like paint it on, okay? And this does not look have to look neat. It's just gonna be to get some color on it so it doesn't look like uh, just a regular stick. <laughs> and this doesn't take no time to dry. You can use the um, chalk paste just like, like kind of like acrylic paint 
um, just add some water to thin it down. And voila, the back side really doesn't matter because you're not gonna be able to see it. Just wanna get all sides. You could use a paintbrush if you like, and keep your hands cleaner. <laughs> That's okay. So we're just gonna dab that on a little bit. And we'll let that dry a second. Okay, so we'll set that and wipe my hands off. If you have any paste that's um, not the creamy dreamy formula, it's great to paint with um, because you can just um, add water to it and you're perfectly fine. Okay, I think we're gonna have to cut my little pumpkin. Um, so I have these like little flowers, right? So I'm gonna take these little um, right here and I'm gonna make this our little um, vine. Okay, I'll probably cut it in half. Okay, might have to get a little bit smaller. So it's always good to keep this things, you know, things around that you might craft with a little bit later. All right, so I'm going to maybe uh, cut this a little bit more so it's not. Yes, this is goes everywhere, guys. So and these scissors are really sharp. Okay, Just don't cut yourself on the Brillo pad. <laughs> sometimes does not like to stick to um, stick to metal all the time so I have um, some super glue as well so what we're gonna do is just try to get this into a ball okay and then we're gonna try to get as much as we can on the box frame itself okay so I'm gonna put some glue on the lip here and then also on the back okay so I'm gonna try to get this in the center of my box frame Take the lid off my super bowl. I'm gonna have to use both hands here. I know it's kind of hard to see, guys, so sorry. I think I got enough on the bottom here. Super glue as well, or some hot glue, just in case. Okay. And then we're gonna just kind of put this together here. Just gonna push it down, gonna hold it in place a little bit. Okay. Might have to add a little bit more. Sometimes does not stick to metal, but we're going to do our best. Okay, I'm just going to keep pushing it down. I have to trim up our little pad here, but that's okay. It's a little bit bigger. Gonna add some super glue as well if we need to. Okay, so there's our little pumpkin. He's a little cute pumpkin, ain't he? Okay, so. I might have to add a little bit of super glue here. The cap of my super glue is came off. Try to get this back on real quick. It's a lot easier when you have this on it, right? 
All right, we're just gonna flip it. Let's see if I can get it a little bit more. Set the box frame up there. Those are my hands. There we go. That looks good, right? Okay. Let me get this closed up before I get it everywhere. And then we're going to put the little uh, stem in. Let's see if we cut it pretty good here. All right. So, I think that looks good. Oh, yeah, it's going to be perfect. So, we're going to use the um, quick dry tool on this a little bit. Get the stick in. I'm just gonna put some hot glue right in the middle. Okay, I'm gonna make sure I have it in the center of my pumpkin. I'm gonna push it down. I'm gonna put some on the back side. I'm gonna put kind of on an angle. Okay. Get my pumpkin in there. Okay, how cute is that, guys? All right, now, let me get my hands cleaned off. Sometimes I get more hot glue on my fingers than I do on my project. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna add our little guys here. Make sure this is... Okay, might wanna give it a second to set up here. So cute. If you want to add some bark on there, you could make it a little bit darker. All right, so we're going to turn it again. And we're just going to add some more glue. Okay, and then you're just going to put these little guys in here like the stems or the little lines. Okay, let's do a second one. like that placement. I'm actually turn this one, I think, a little bit. Turn it this way a little. It's hard to work upside down, guys. hot glue on my hands than anything. Stringy, stringy, stringy. Alright, I'm not liking that too much, so let's try to... There we go, that's better. That's better. Okay, well, I'll turn it so you guys can see it. So these little lines, I want to come in, like, I want them to overlap a little bit. So I think that looks really cute. So let me get this out of the way. All right, guys. So here is it. And like I said, metal does not like to stick with hot glue. So you might need some super glue. And um, you can probably put some more of these stems if you wanted to. Um, I'm still not getting the placement here. I don't intertwine, but I don't know about that. Mm, just have to keep messing with it. It does take a little bit time to dry on this. Right, flip it upside down again, guys. I don't know if you can see. Just not digging the placement. Oh, 
together. Alright, I think I'm gonna do actually another one. Let me cut another one off if I have one. Right here, another one. I'm just using fabric scissors, guys. Probably make my fabric scissors dull when I'll get out, but that's okay. <laughs> Alright, I'm just going to put some more glue on here. We can get the stringies off later, okay? So I'm going to just stick that in there. That looks good. I like that one better. It kind of melts the plastic, so you can try to get it where you want it. That's cute. Love it, guys. So that's Shimmer Crimson, um, Shimmer Pumpkin, Shimmer Olive, a little SOS pad, uh, the copper colored one, not the silver, and then cut in half. And then we just got, um, these guys are the, um, if you buy like a, uh, want to do a reverse canvas, these are little spacers. So I keep you know, all my crafting stuff um, in a little baggie, and then I'm like, you know what, I can use that for something else. So that is that, guys. Thank you for joining me. I really appreciate it. Um, if you like what you see, you can um, um, look at look me up on Facebook. I'm at Chalk Like a Boss for Krista's Chalking Crew. And then also, um, um, if you want to subscribe to my channel, that would be amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, have a great day. Bye-bye.